Hey there, welcome to this <clears throat> online course I put together for small local businesses in our area that can take advantage of, that would like to take advantage of digital marketing. So this course, we're gonna be talking about local listings and, <clears throat> um, and how that could benefit people looking for you, right? And increase your local search uh, factors. And probably you're asking yourself, what local, what's local listing, Leo? Well, think of it as, um, as a way to put your business information in, in many different places for free. It's like having many different billboards online for free, okay? Um, there, are some, there are some that are paid, right? But the majority are free. It just obviously takes uh, time to get this set up. Either it's your time or somebody else's time that you can pay to do it for you. All right, so um, there are more than 50 directories websites that publish information about small businesses. Right, if you, for example, go and do a search for online citation, that's what it's called as well. Citation. Uh, you're gonna see many different um, resources about that will talk about that, right? Um, what else can we do? Online citation, if you Google images. Online citation is that one? Online local directories. That's another name. If you Google images, you notice that online local directories is basically a bunch of them, right? Um, so you're not gonna obviously uh, stress out about all of them, and that we're gonna discuss that a little bit later. Uh, but you're just gonna focus on some that are important to your industry. You say over here there are more than fifty directories. Again, you don't fo you don't worry about so many different. You worry about some that uh, are related to your industry and to your location. So these online listings are called from public records. Yeah, right. These these listings over here are basically public records of your information, either because you put in there as a business owner or somebody else did it. Uh, and some other some some other times they just pull data from other resources. Um, so as you can see, right, companies can publish it to the internet or somebody else. So make sure your listings are working for you to generate better search rankings and foot traffic. Uh, in this video, what we're gonna learn is about business listing uh, basics, how to see which sites list your business, how to claim or add your business to online directories, uh, what information business listing sites have about your company, how online listings can help your business reputation, a how incorrect listings can hurt your online reputation. So business listings basic, right? So the basic of business listing is basically making sure that you understand what the concept is, right? It's basically like having your business listed up uh, several um, online directories, again, that are related to your industry. They have some type of reputation. So for example, restaurants will be good to be listed, to have their name listed or business name listed on Yelp, for example. Um, Grubhub and so many other ones. I'm gonna show you in some other videos in a little bit. What are some, uh, or in this video, um, what are some of the good places to go and find that, right? But um, the basic of, of business listing, um, listing basics, right? Business listing basic. The basic of that is again, you understand these are online directories that uh, where your business is listed, where people can find information about your business. Uh, so how to see which sites list your business. So one thing that I like to do is have your um, business go um, use sites like yex.com. Okay. I like using sites like most local. Uh, I also like using um, what another big one is Manta. And um, uh, the way you use this one, so you can use different ones, right? You can, I'm sure you can Google some other ones, but I, the way that I like using this, let's say I'm looking for uh, mechanic in Fairfield. Mechanic in Fairfield. And let's say I come up with this one, right? Auto repair solution. So I'm gonna go check their listing. And here's the listing. So. What I like to do is I like to see what the listing looks like in, in Google, if they have one. If they don't have one, that's unfortunately. Um, but if you have your listing, go ahead and do that. 
And the reason why I grabbed Google because it's one of the most popular out there. And most of these sites, they pull in the information mainly from Google first. And then they go and scan. So what you do, right, it's free to do. Just put your name information there. But if it's a single listing or multiple business, put the phone number that you have listed. And then that's going to give you results, right? It's going to give you results to see how your listing is doing in multiple places. Again, don't worry about all these places over here because they may not be related to your industry or even to your location, right? Um, instead, focus in a few ones that, again, we're going to go over later how to find where the best are for your industry um, that uh, you can leverage and use. So, yep, that's about 50% optimization rate, meaning about 50% uh, have the bad information. And we saw here some highlighted red, right, for this specific business. Shout out to Auto Repair Solutions for good. <laughs> they don't know I'm doing this. But shout out to them, right, for um, um, uh, being a sport and, and, and being a a guinea pig, even though they don't know it. So, as you can see, this business over here, four squares, is the different. Um, the X knows they don't have one. Uh, there are some differences on the address, right? Some have Fairfield, some other ones done. It might that may be due to what it, the, the, this allows, right? Some may not allow the, um, the 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 city, state, and all that. So as you can see, there's some discrepancies. Um, most local, I like that because it gives me some additional information. If I go to resources, most local, um, most local, check my business listing. I like the way they do it because they provide some additional feedback. So uh, yes, I'm in the United States, my company name, uh, street number, a number, postal code. So we talk about repair solution, other repair solutions. Um, what else do we ask for? Uh, street num street and number so street and number and zip code is nine four five three three nine four five three three check now online search for your company please wait this search can take up to thirty seconds so I like the way they do it because um, it, it, it gives, in some instances, it, it gives some uh, additional information about, well, I, I don't know, they change it a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Improve, share result, change location, drill that presence. So it looks like they changed their, the way they do it. Um, incorrect, correct. Hours, photos. It kind of tells you, right, what, what are some of the things that you, you need to add. Uh, in this situation, Facebook can see that they have some discrepancy in the description, right? See how you got in Google and Facebook. Uh, seems that they're missing uh, the hours on Facebook. Um, and Foursquare seems like they're missing the, uh, some photos. So you kind of go through it. And, 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 and um, most local, you can see that it shows you a little bit in reference to their recommendation what you should be doing. Like, for example, in one, you should be adding some more photos. In another one, you're missing the hours. Uh, so you can you can play with these ones around and see what what sort of different listing options they offer. But that's some of the sites that you can use to um, uh, see what uh, um, what how your business is listed. So how to claim or add your business to online directories. So very simple, right? If if you don't have Google My Business, I would recommend you to start with Google My Business. Simply uh, go to Google and type in Google My Business, and uh, just go through it. Just go through the process and, and add your business through it, right? It was going to guide you step by step on how to do that. Um, very simple process. I'm sure you can watch YouTube videos on how to do that. Uh, add or claim your business. So if you, um, if for some reason somebody else already created a profile of your business, that's why it's called claim, right? That's why you're going to claim it. Um, it's basically what it's going to do is going to um, send an email to the person that opened your business. And if they approve it, um, then obviously you become the owner or I believe that it will be automatically approved to you if nobody approves within if, if nobody um, deny, denies you your your request within seven days or otherwise um, call them for assistance okay facts and support you can check that section um, Yelp you can do that right you can go to Yelp business yelp for example business and i mentioned yelp simply because it's very popular okay nowadays 
So Biz Yelp, sorry. Uh, so you go to Biz Yelp, you can search for that, and this is the website, biz.yelp.com. Uh, and even if you go to the main Yelp website, it tells you a, a little, you will see a section that will say, uh, you know, uh, your business owner log in here to, to your business account. Um, so you can definitely go, and the other way to do it, right, you can just go one by one to the different popular sites and do that process. Or uh, you, what you can do is you can find services or you can call, you can hire agencies that do that, like digitaltrack.co, right? Um, and, and to help you out with that. <clears throat> so what information business listing sites have about your company? It will have the, uh, the what, what you put into it, right? The one thing I would recommend you to do is... Um, is for a search is to do a, a spreadsheet um, a spreadsheet that get a, pull up a spreadsheet and find some and, and, and write down everything right write down everything about um, write down everything that you put on your business about so this is what some of the things that you should know that at least you should have the name of your business and the NAP that stands for name <coughs> name of your business address phone number now we recommend you to add a W there for website but basically that's one of the main things you should have and obviously hours if you have it a description about your business photos if you add make sure to add all that uh, because all that is just gonna help you increase the uh, the chances to come up on the top of the search results. Yes, it's more work, it's more time, um, but you don't need to do all at once, right? You, you can do little by little, or you can just have, you can just pay somebody to do it for you. But um, at least you should have the name of your business, the address, the phone number, and the website. Don't forget the website if you have one. Plus, you should have one. So what information business list inside have about your company? Whatever you put in it, but uh, again, make sure to have an APW, name, address, phone number, and website. How online listings can help your business reputation. So again, I mentioned uh, that a little bit about that already, right? You, the, the only fact of having your business um, um, listed will allow people to co go into them and actually talk about your business give give make sure the, uh, give recommendations about your business right make sure it, it's it's a way to help others in the community to understand if your business is does a great work or or not right it, it's it's a it's a great way to um, allow customers to give you feedback of how you're doing right uh, you always want to keep improving, uh, but on the other and the other hand, it allows you to appear in the map, so it makes it easier for customers to find information about you. So, for example, if I go and find, look for dentist, uh, Fairfield, California, then obviously that will um, allow you to be on the map, right? In Google, especially this includes Google is the number one search engine in the world. And if you're not on the maps, it's like you don't exist, right? Um, the only way that people will find you is like if they know the word of mouth situation. Why just limit to yourself to that, right? Instead, so many people are looking on, on Google on the mobile devices, have your business listed on the map. So that's another way it helps. And another way it helps, of course, is that you keep increasing your odds to show up in the first place, especially if people are leaving reviews, you're asking for reviews, uh, which in the end, you end up help, helping most of, your, most of your customers if you really truly believe in the products or services that you provide um, by obviously appearing in, towards the top, uh, it's gonna definitely help you rank up higher um, if you are utilizing um, uh, uh, the the fact that you have your business listed in, in different uh, online directories that are according to your industry and your location. Now, obviously, not for every industry that's gonna be enough because if the industry it's very uh, competitive. That's where you're going to run into trouble because a lot of people is going to be actually advertising and, and, and doing a lot more to stay on the top. So how incorrect listings can hurt your online reputation. So obviously having the wrong information is frustrating, right? Think about uh, your business um, having different hours during a holiday and a customer is coming to your location and how frustrating it could be for a customer is that uh, the only fact that your website or no, nowhere 
and the internet was listed that you were going to have shorter hours or, you, or we, that you were going to be closed due to the holiday, it's frustrating for customers to go there and find, only to find out that your business is closed. Um, or if I might have frustrated it is that you Google a specific business and the phone number is wrong uh, or, or that the address is wrong. So, right, so those things is how um, in a, in a, um, in a brief version, uh, how your business could be affected, right? It's, it's basically a, a bad customer experience that you started, uh, that you leave it in the first spread impression if your business have their own information listed on, online. So monitor those online um, citations every now and then to ensure that the latest information, up-to-date information is listed for your business. Uh, so that's it for this first video. Now go ahead and continue to the other video, but if you're ready to perhaps dive in a little more into this with one-on-one -on -one information um, and also to uh, join the group. Make sure to link below in the in this page somewhere and um, join the group, right? If you should have you should have done it already, uh, or, or else go ahead and and click the schedule button to schedule a call. If you oh, if you're looking to dive in more deep into your business, um, like a one-on-one -on -one -on -one strategy and 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 see what what situations where you are in your business that we can um, sort of um, brainstorm together, right, to uh, either uh, establish an online presence if you don't have one yet, or to increase it, right, if you already have one and looking to attract more local customers. All right, have a good one. See you in the next video. Bye.